Welcome to the second episode of the second season of Timmy and Chandler. And if I remember correctly, I am left with zero gold. Um, I still don't have a crowbar because remember in this episode, I'm going green and I'm also kind of in a bad spot life-wise. So I'm going to go for more gold. I want to find myself a crow worm and I want to get some mana links. Those are my three goals for this episode. But before I jump in, first a message from the sponsor of season two. Yes, this season is sponsored. We're going to go to a message from my friends of 3 for 1 Trading. 3 for 1 Trading is one of Europe's leading Magic the Gathering retailers. Their online shop has a fantastic selection of high-end Magic cards, especially for vintage, legacy and, yes, yes, old-school Magic players. They now exclusively offer my community free, fully insured and fast worldwide shipping on all their high-end singles, full sets and out-of-print sealed products. They upload new cards every Wednesday and have weekly sale offers and reductions waiting just for you. Use my code TIMMY to get free worldwide shipping on your first order over $500 or euros. Have fun ordering those cards and thank you 3 for one Trading for sponsoring this video. And we are back. Let's jump into Chandelar. Here we go, people. Load save game. Timmy goes green. Okay, so yes, zero gold. Let's have a look. Ooh, let's turn the volume down a little. Um, what's my deck? I've got 40 cards. Lots of red, actually. I need more green. Got some Lonerer Elves. I remember that from the last run. Okay. It's, you know, it's looking decent. I think it should be good enough. Um, trade blue amulets for any lands. No, thank you. I'm going to leave the village. Insufficient funds. Okay, so... World Magic Haggler's Coin. Each village and city offers more cards for sale. Ooh, that would be sweet to get. So maybe if I do some duels, I can earn some money. Ooh, begin a quest. I reward you with three blue amulets. Well, the Wind Dragon is kind of tough at the moment. I'm looking at cards, I don't even have any money. I really gotta, first gotta challenge some people. Ooh, a grave site. Let's have a look. Can we find some goodies? You happen to go upon a Beastmaster Spectre. Ooh, I can win two Cyclopean Tombs. I've never actually seen that before where I can win two. Um, yeah, sure. Let's duel the creature. No, what did I do? Apparently clicking enter means leave quietly. It's a little bit glitchy. Let's go in the village. Defeat the clerk. So I just saw the clerk. So I'm going to duel him anyway. So I might as well try to get a reward for it. There's the clerk. Duel the clerk. I mean, come on. Mono white. We should be able to beat that. Play first. <laughs> Stop the duel. I've got Fisher. I've got Mountain. I've got Lana Rells. That's good. Onulet. Mountain. Urza's Adventure. And the plan. The problem with this hand is I don't have green mana. But hey, I cannot take a mulligan anyway, so I just have to accept it. It would be so good to have forest, run or else, go from there. Then I could drop only left turn two. Now I just have to hope for a mana next turn. Yeah, of course the mana lines put the pressure on. Nothing I can do. I gotta wait till next turn to deploy my Onulet, hopefully. Oh man, are you kidding me? I am getting my ass kicked. Let's play only that. Hopefully next turn I can find green mana, play, play carnivorous plant, because I can use that to block. Um, oh, this is <laughs> At least I gained some life. Um, carnivorous plant. Gonna lose the life straight away, but... Hey, a forest. Okay, this is great. Now I can stabilize. Gonna play the plant. Four, five, wool, baby. Nice little tale about the carnivorous plant when it just got printed in the dark. People saw it as a creature because it was the first wool that didn't have wool in its name. Like you had wool of stone, wool of water, wool of shadows, and all of a sudden, carnivorous plant. How could that be a wool? Anyway, um, there we've got the two Mesa Pegasus. Ooh, a mountain. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop a lot or else. 
and then hopefully next turn I can play Urza's Adventure because Urza's Adventure is a creature that I can get flying and then I can block those uh, those Pegasus, Pegasi. Do you say Pegasi? Is that the plural of Pegasus? Taunus is weaponry! Man, look at my life, I'm on six. Ooh, a fireball! Mm. Wait a minute, I, I, I need my brain here. One, two, three. Okay, I think I can fireball them both for two. Um, targets two. Um, amount of damage to each target, two. Okay, that's good, done. Tap one more, that's the elf. One and two. Yeah, baby! I always get a little bit like nervous when I have to cast a complex spell like Fireball on Chandelar because it's so easy to make a mistake. So far it's going really well, not well, but at least I'm back. I've stabilized, I'm on six, I've got a good wall to, to block. Of course, a new flyer. Remember, I still have the Urza's Adventure. So let's, let's play that. Maybe he doesn't understand the adventure and he's gonna attack. Then I can give the adventure flying and block the Pegasus. That would be really sweet. Okay, Meek Stone. So he's not attacking. Clever. Gonna play Crapeshot Catapult. I just realized something, by the way. Urza's Avenger is really good with Meek Stone. Because every time you give Urza's Adventure an ability, it gets minus one, minus one. So um, you could do that at the start of your turn, make it into a two, two, and then it untaps, I think. Does that work? Let me know in the comments below if that works, because then we've got a new forgotten combo. <laughs> That'd be really sweet. Um, anyway, back to the game. I've kind of stabilized here. Urza's Adventure. Give him flying. Flying! Done. Then blockers. I can block because he has flying. Oh, yeah! Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, this is so much fun. Um, it's looking pretty good. You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to attack with my adventure. Oh, wait, I shouldn't, because he can give it... Can I give it flying? Let's give it flying. Then it'll fly over the lion, because, of course, the lion has holy armor on it. I forgot about that, so he can just pump it up in the defense. Take the damage! Um, then I'm going to cast Stone Giant. And I'm going to pass. And now I can try the Meek Stone trick, see if that works. I also like Taunus' weaponry with Mixstone, by the way. It's a really cool combination. Oh no, you're gonna destroy, I cannot, I cannot test it out now. Why, Chandelar? Why, Chandelar? Ooh, he's pumping it up. Uh, let's draw a card. Okay, Hill Giant. I'm gonna play a Fisher on the Lion. Bye bye. And then I'm gonna attack with these two. Gonna deal some damage. Yeah. On four, baby. Oh, I love this coffee. It's good. Another lion. Okay, three, two. Oh, I can cast Aladdin's ring. This is so cool. Aladdin's Ring. So you got to pay eight mana for this card and eight mana to use it. But for that eight mana, you can deal four damage. So that's so cool. And guess what? My opponent's on four. So this is really sweet. This is really something. If the ring can stick, I can kill him with an Aladdin's Ring. Semite Healer. Ooh, can prevent the damage. But the Samite has summoning sickness. I'm going to use the ring. Bye, Cleric. 
It was it was nice. Hey! Take the cards, because I need to sell them. Let's go. Let's go check out the gravesite. Hey, Swampy Swamp. And a Guardian Beast. Wow, that is a cool card. That is a cool card. Okay. Hey, I'm rewarded with a white gem. And I'm going to sell some cards. Oh, yeah. White. 95, and this is 15. That's not a lot. 220. Let's see. Is this an expensive 10 for 15? No. So let's go to another village. Azar's Crypt. Life loss carry over. Bad moon permanently in effect. So people have told me if you want to get a good price for your cards, I gotta to go to villages where they offer, uh, you know, where they sell food for a high price. So buy 10 for 15 gold is actually pretty cheap. So I gotta find something else. Wow. Okay, I'll duel the Lord of Fates. I really don't want to lose that mana cost. Play fast. 20 life. That is tough. Um, let's see. Hill Giant, Clockwork Beast, Stone Giant, Hill Giant, Lightning Bolt. That's kind of nice. Mountain in a Forest. Okay. Uh, let's play the Forest. Because if he has land removal, I don't want him to remove the Mountain. Uh, I guess we gotta just have our land drop here. Hope for the best. Hopefully next turn I can draw into more lands. The plains and a swamp, eh? That is pretty good. That is decent. Drudge skeletons. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna kill the skeletons. Why? Because now we cannot regenerate it. I mean, what usually happens with these one ones is you think it's just a one one. I'm gonna let it, you know, be on the battlefield and whatever, and then you really start to regret it because the card just gets bigger and more annoying and. I mean, I've only got 11 life as well, so I feel like I gotta be quite aggressive, you know, with the bolts. Got my only lead going. 20 is a lot of life, though. Oh, there's a new one. There's another drudge. I am gonna attack. Because he cannot regenerate at the moment. Exactly. Take the damage! Hmm, maybe I need to board out Sisters of the Flame because it's double red. It's hard to cast. Amulet of Krug there on the battlefield. I'm on 10. There's a Vulture. Mm, this is this is not great. Um gonna keep my own leg on blocking duty to stop the skeleton. The vultures is an issue. I'm on nine. Need if I can just get one mana. Red preferably, I could do Hill Giant or Stone Giant. Oh, Sarah Angel. Oh no, this is bad. Oh, <laughs> this is so bad. I'm on a two turn clock. And I'm still not drawing any lands. Oh, I'm getting my ass. I'm going to lose my Mana Clash. I do not want to lose the Mana Clash. Okay, Castle. Make matters even worse. Put me on four, whatever. Oh, now I find a mountain. There's nothing I can do with this mountain. I mean, it can cast stuff, but... <clears throat> I mean, Stone Giant the Summoning Sickness, or else I could have tossed the Onulet up in the air to block the Sarah to at least survive another turn, but... Yeah, of course, anyway. Whatever, man. Oh, I'm losing the Mana Clash. I am not happy. Defeat the priestess. Well, I just got my ass kicked. Leave the village. Soul nuts. Could be useful. The clerk. Oh no, Wayne Stallion. I think those Wayne Stallions are pretty good. At least I get to start. I don't want to lose my Aladdin's ring. Uh, let's see. So I've got Forest into Lana Wells. 
That's that's a really good opening actually. That's what you wanna that's what you want in life. So maybe I've got no turn two play. I've got carnivorous plant, mountain, giant spiders, and sisters of the flame. So okay, okay, another another lana work. It's not too shabby. Let's attack with this one. Deal some damage. Next turn I can play giant spider. At least I've got enough lands now, you know, that's important. A plane! So they just put a planes in my deck because I don't have enough cards anymore. That is really not great. Oh, that is so annoying. No! Counterspell! Dude! Dude, I'm already, I've got like the worst deck ever and you're, dude. Is it going to be one of these episodes? Maybe. So far, one, one, lost one. Which I guess is decent, but... Okay, no counter spell, that's good. I feel like I cannot, I don't really have the luxury to, to, you know, play around counter magic, I feel. I just gotta, you know, play my little creatures and turn them sideways and see what happens. Okay. Ooh, discarding your cards. I am not complaining. Let's attack with the whole army. And then we're gonna cast Sisters of the Flame. Hey, if you counter it, you counter it. Hey, but if you don't, you don't. This is great. So next turn I can attack for six. Half his life total. There you go, Orsi. Yeah, I'm gonna play Grape Shot Catapult. It's actually quite good against the Pegasus, right? Because it's Pegasus is a 1-1. One, one. This can deal one damage. Bum bum. Hey, this is a this is a beautiful target for my Grape Shot Catapult. This is, I mean, I couldn't have asked for more. Dear Catapult, this is your moment to shine. I'm gonna click on you. I'm gonna use your ability to kill a creature. A 4-1. Oh, oh, oh. That's amazing. That's amazing. And now I'm gonna attack for six. Yay! Oh, I love to take these cards. So many cards, that's awesome. Oh wait, I'm... I didn't wanna... Duel the Cleric. Duel the Cleric! Play first. What do I have? Lanor Elves, Lanor Elves, Urza's Adventure, and a lot of lands. I'm actually not unhappy with this hand because I can ramp up with the adventures, uh, sorry, with the Lana Elves. And then hopefully like turn out, play out my adventure, turn four. Okay, forget about that plan. It's out of the window. <laughs> it was fun while it lasted, my plan, but it's out of the window. Now we can play turn five, which is still a turn early. Earth says Avenger, what a card. A four, four for six. That is so funny. Another one. Okay. Wow. I mean, look at him. Look at him go with his fancy swords to plowshares. Oh man, this is bad news. I'm on 11. Sure, man, cast more stuff. Ooh, I can play Hill Giant. Ah, uh, that's a 3-3, I can stop the lion. Yes! Well, hello there, Hill Giant. I'm unfamiliar with this art, but hello there. It's a female Hill Giant. There's the attack with the Pegasus. Of course, another Swords. Is this number three, right? That's ridiculous. Also look at my graveyard, it's super empty because all those creatures get removed. It would have been so nice if it would just say destroy and they would at least go to the graveyard and you could play like raise dead, animate dead, resurrection, stuff like that. Oh, look at him banned here, I'm on nine. Oh, this is not going well. Finally, I can play the Earth's Adventure from my opening hand.
Ooh, he's again making that mistake. I love it. He's not seeing that the adventure can fly. That is so funny. Choose blockers. This is ideal. No! Don't do it! Triggered effect. Shall I get... Wait, let's just give it another... Oh, no, I can't. I just wanted to give it first strike just for fun, but... Oh, God, I'm on eight. The problem here are those two flyers. It's nice to have this Boris. It's a 4-4, but it's going to fly over me. I'm being trampled on by the, by the, by the horses, flying horses. God, this is bad. Um, I'm going to attack just to see what he's going to do. Like, you know, he can block and pump, but yeah, that's what he does. Okay. I apologize, priest, for clerk, for underestimating you. Now I'm on two. Oh, no. Let's do, we call this an alpha strike. When you're like desperate and you just attack with everything because you know you're going to die next turn. You go, alpha strike. My last stand. I might as well regenerate. Why not? Lost a stone giant. Okay, 10 food for 20 gold. This is an expensive region. Let's sell our stuff. Let's sell our stuff, boys. And get rich. 30. 20. 125. I feel like the prices ain't great here either, but okay. Two night, that's good. Good prices for the blue spell. Guardian Beast? 100? No way I'm gonna sell it for 100. Are you mad, man? Are you crazy? Uh, what do I have? Wall of Ice could be okay. Maybe another carnivorous plant. Alright, I got artifacts. Wait a minute, I could play another Onulet. Let's take the plant out. Play Onulet. Let's take the beast out and go for something bigger. Let's go for Colossus. Because Colossus is cool, you want to cast the Colossus. Um, where was that tranquility in my battle just now? That would have been ideal. Um, Aladdin's ring, I still have one copy. You know what, I'm good. Uh, trade white amulet for any lands, no thank you. Buy a card. No thank you. Oh wait, I can sell lands as well, of course. Wait. Look at that, I've got two planes. Sell the planes. That's good. Okay. Um, I guess I should play the City of Brass. Let's take a mountain out. Let's put the City of Brass in. Makes more sense. Leave the village! I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go any I just wanna do some more missions, find myself a crowbar. Ooh, there's a city that's under attack. Duel this mind stealer. Yes, of course. Of course, you can start. Go for it. What is my hand? Onulet, giant spider, onulet number two, forest, one mana only, one land hand, lightning bolt, adventure, tranquility. Okay. Conclusion, my hand's pretty bad. At least another land. Would be nice to get a mountain. Ooh, he's missing his land drop. Mountain, please. Mountain, please. Or a forest, and I can cast the only lets in my hand. Hey, mountain. There's somebody listening out there. The Shandalar gods. Ooh, he's forced to discard stuff. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just taking that. I'm happy with that. At this stage in the game, I'm happy with everything Chandelar gives me, the computer gives me. 14, baby. Double Onulet on board. The Onulet also has a little role in the Brothers War, the novel. I can recommend it. It's a good novel. Ooh, look at that. Also casting it. Oh, he's playing the same deck. This took a while for me to get. He's, of course, the Mind Stealer. He's... Never mind. Should I use the bolt? Yes or no? 
Hmm. I'm gonna wait with the bolt. I'm just gonna attack. Maybe he trades. Sure, man, let's trade. You gain some life, I gain some life. Let's pass a turn. I mean, hey, if he's playing the same deck, I should be able to win, right? Because my deck's pretty bad, so. Although I have to say, like, for a deck that I just got, it's not that bad. At least it's only two colors. It's got an okay mana base. Uh, okay, let's go. Let's go Dirkwood Boars. So 4-4. Four, four. Jack for four. There we go, baby. So next turn I could swing for eight and then finish with the bolt. Life is life is sometimes life simple. Oh, cast the bolt on oh, my life total. Sure, man. Let's attack. And onwards we go, my friends. Lightning bolt. Bolt for the win. That's classic. Let's take the cards. Buy cards. No thank you. Oh, yeah. Take this message north to my brother, the keeper of Blood's Hand Forge. Okay. You know what I'll do? I'll first go and then I'll go back to the village. Then I'll come and save you guys. You encounter an Aga Galnea, a genie guardian who holds valuable spells. Yes, I will duel. I want to get that Gaius Leech. That is one cool card. You gotta get the Gaius Leech. Play first, please. Okay, okay. City of Brass is good. Starting with the King Suleiman, that's pretty good. Um, Lana Rails, gonna cast Lana Rails. Make it green, take a damage. Attack with Suleiman. Really cool card from Arabian Nights. Destroy target Jin or a free. Another card that's still on my wish list. I have a few on there still. Some people assume I have all the cards in old school. I wish. Uh, let's go Lana Rails. Attack for two. Hey, there we go. There we go. Hmm. Urk red as. At the end of your turn, Urk red deals two damage. Oh, yeah, that's from the Raging Knights. You know what we'll do? I'll play a Hill Giant. Because the Hill Giant can block the Raiders, and if he doesn't attack, he takes two damage. Also fine. Spirit Link. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I'm gonna block nonetheless. Oh, he's gonna gain so much life. That's nice, 19. Okay, let's go Mountain. Mm. Let's go Grapeshot Catapult. Oh yeah, another trick I learned from Season 1, Chandelar, I can do, don't auto-tap this card, because I don't want City of Brass to auto-tap, because that's going to cost me life. I don't want that to happen. Attacking for two, okay. Putting my opponent on 17. I want to win that Gas Leech. That's so going to go into my deck. I still haven't found a Crawl Worm, by the way. What was my goal again? Get money, mana links, and Crawl Worms. Those three. Not specifically in that order, but those are my goals. Anyway, gonna attack here for five. But you're on 12, yeah. I'm, I'm on 10, 10 v 12. It's good. Feeling confident. Fireball in hand. Play a Fireball for six, I believe. Of course, another, on the same creature. Makes sense. Go, go for it. If this hill giant now attacks, I'm giving my opponent life. That is really funny. Um, another mountain. Let's attack. Here is seven. One, one, two, three, four, five. I can fireball for five. It's not going to work. 
I could have won actually already. If I would have fireballed him before, then attack, because it was Spirit Link, you first take the damage, then you gain the life, so I would have been too low and he would die, I think. But I'm not sure how that works in Chandelar rules, you know, because they're a little bit, you know, in a special rule set in the Chandelar universe. Oh, Nulet hitting the board. That Onulet is actually pretty annoying. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to attack with this dude. See what happens. Sure, take the damage. Then I can win with the fireball. One target. Um, I want to spend five mana. Bye, Aga Galnir. Yay! I got the cards. Stick the cards. What is the power rating of Pradesh Gypsies? It's a one, right? It's a one one. Yay! Oh, Serpent Generator! That's so cool. Got myself a Serpent Generator. Oh, oh, oh. let's enjoy the, the music. You gotta love Shamrock. Buy cards. Ooh! Yes, please. Ashnot's Battle Gear. Why not? Let's do it. I love this church music. Super cool. Uh, Anime Dead. 120. Guardian Beast. 100. Still? Why is Guardian Beast only 100? That card's insane. Ooh, we gotta play some, we gotta do some upgrades. Uh, I think I'm gonna take Tranquility out. Uh, man, what to take out? Let's take out one Onulet. Let's take out the Dwarven Warriors as well, even though it's good. I'm gonna put in Gas Leash. You're gonna put in Darkwood Boars. Maybe put, maybe put Dwarven Warriors back, I don't know. Let's see what artifacts I have. Battering Man. Serpent generator is pretty cool. You know what? I'm just going to put only that back. Um, no, I'm not going to buy gold here. It's, uh, food here. It's expensive. Travel west to Andos Hole. Sure, man. I'm first going to free the city. We free this city. We free this city on rock and roll. Anti, ooh, Fisher. I'm gonna duel anyway, man. I'm not afraid. I want to save these people. There we go. Play first. Start the duel. So I've got a face. Why a war elephant? That's so not cool. I've got forest, dirtwood boars, fireball, gas leech, lawn or elves. That's good. Mountain forest. So I can go turn one. One or else, and then turn two fireball the war elephant. So now we've got to hope that he's not going to draw like a holy armor, holy strength. <sighs> Whatever, man. At least he's not attacking. That's something. Um, so the fireball plans out of the windows. So I'm going to cast forest next turn, mountain, and then war mammoth. I guess. The war elephant is, is ser a serious pr problem here. No, not more stuff. Four, six. How am I going to kill? I need my fisher. Oh, this is so annoying. I mean, six toughness. That fireball is not going to work. I guess I can attack, and if you... Oh, man, holy armor. Never mind. Dang it. That war elephant is a serious problem. Uh, okay, so I've got another mountain. I mean, I could go Sisters of the Flame. I can chump on the Lanawer. Wait a minute, I've got eight defense. If he taps out... If I have a, this one, it's an extra one. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, it's n not enough. Oh, man. Let's play Dirt Wars. I'm going to attack with a War Mammoth. I 
I'm going to take the damage. I'm going to take the hit. Hey, man, I'm on four. Next turn, Chum Block, Lana Rails, but now I'm just going to attack with Dirkwood Boards and War Mammoth. Play the Fireball. I can play a Fireball for four, of course. If I can push three damage through... Ooh, I can see possibilities here. Um, I'm going to attack. I'm going to attack. See what he does. Oh, I'm so happy with this. I'm so happy. I got you, baby. Done. Yes, we won. Trade black amulets for any enchantment. Buy cards and hands. If you combine Merc Dwellers with Dwarven Warriors, yeah, exactly. You can make Merc Dwellers unblockable and it gains plus two plus oh. But that's not the type of deck I'm making, but I love the suggestion. Um, wow, this is expensive here. Let's see, let's see what I can get for my Guardian Beast. 80, even less, that's because I'm in a swamp, right? Man, get out of here. Pay the gold, conjure as well, sure. Duel the Nether Fiend, okay, I'll duel the Nether Fiend. I need to find that sword, by the way, that sword that like transports you to villages that are under attack, that would be really useful. Play fast, my friends, play fast. Uh, forest, forest, hill giant, mountain, Dirkwood Balls, mountain, sisters of the flame. I'm liking this. I'm going to go for a mountain and pass the turn. Next turn, forest, then a mountain, then sisters of the flame, then the Dirkwood Boars. Ooh, I can get a Dirkwood Boars out turn four. That's some sick magic. I mean, Dirkwood Boars is not that bad of a card. You know, five mana for a 4-4 and only one green to cast it? I mean, it could be a lot worse. Sisters of the Flame. Hopefully it doesn't die. I'm going to take two from Knight, which is fine. Going to drop to ten. I don't mind. I do not demand. Earth Raiders, okay. Hmm. He is getting stronger, but I can now play out my really big creature. A 4 4, baby! That can block the knight, block the Earth Raiders. I'm in good shape. Let's hope that he doesn't have some pump spell. Oh, he's got a terror. Okay, that's equally worse. At least, at least I've declared it as a blocker, so I don't take any damage. Uh, oh, carnivorous plant. You know what? I'm going to play... Wait a minute. First one or else, because I think I can do both. And then I'm going to play carnivorous plant. I'm not playing the hill giant, because I'm kind of hoping that maybe if he's got a second terror, he's going to use it on the plant. Oh, man. That is, that is evil. Uh, let's... Lock it like this. I'll take the damage. I'm gonna go hill giant. Man, the Dirkwood boards is a problem. Three four. Twenty three life. Wow. Hmm. Weird that he's attacking with the assembly worker, but whatever. Ooh. Do I have enough mana to deal three to each? I think I do. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Cancel because I got to deal four to this dude. Hmm. Let's see. I can deal four, but I don't have enough. So I need one more mana and I can kill them both. So I just have to be patient. I've got my carnivorous plant. I've got my super wool. So I'm good. You know, I'm fine. If you ever built an animate wool deck, put carnivorous plant in there and wall of sorts. I think those are kind of the best uh, walls to animate. You could, you could say wall of fire, wall of water maybe, but 
I like I like my animate wall decks like white green with enchantress in there. I think that works. Uh, scenic poltergeist. Okay, so that can animate. Uh, that can animate artifacts. Right, tap onto your next upkeep target. Non-creature artifacts becomes an artifact creature with power and toughness, each equal to its total casting cost. So this will be turned into just a one-one. The cool thing with the poltergeist is it it keeps its uh, ability. But I think I can now fireball for four and two targets. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Targets two. Damage four. Yes. Tap two. Tap and tap. Yes, please. Yes, please. Hey! Boom! In Dutch you say, opgeruimd staat netjes. I'm not going to tell you what that means. We're going to keep that as a mystery. Opgeruimd staat netjes. So next turn I can swing in with my Sisters of the Flame. I wonder if he's going to double block. That would be funny. You know what? I'm also going to attack with Alana Rue. Why not? He is blocking. That is funny. I thought maybe he's going to double block Scenic Poltergeist and Soul Net on the Sisters. You've got a really cool play group in London, by the way, called Sisters of the Flame. So shout out to you guys. They have a very cool Highlander format that's on the channel as well. Oh, there's a terror. No. I'm going to attack. Let's cast the Onulet. Let's pass as a turn. So I've got a 2-2. Two, two. Let's swing in. Frozen Shade. Okay. I'll attack. I'll attack, never mind, I'll attack, sonny boy. I mean that Frozen Shade is a problem, by the way. Like he can he can pump it. Frozen Shade's an 01 and one black plus one plus one. No, not another enemy dead. Oh, Aladdin's ring! This card's so good. This card's insane. This is gonna again win me the game. I think I'm gonna build, I already know what I'm gonna build. I think I'm gonna build mono green with lots of ramp and just tons of Aladdin's rings and Colossus Sardias and stuff. Oh, look at this, look at him go. The hive as a five five. That is, that is badass. The funny thing is it doesn't fly, even though it makes one one flying wasps tokens, it doesn't fly itself. Forest, okay. Uh, I'm gonna pass a turn and just on this end step, I can use the ring. I really wonder what he's gonna do. Another hive, okay. <laughs> now he's got two five fives. He needs my Titania song. Uh, what shall I do? Shall I kill a creature? Mm. I think I'm going to kill the boars. Oh, Colossus Sardia. Wow, this is really cool. I got to play the Colossus. Wow, what a cool game, man. I get to... Cast Colossal Sardia and use Aladdin's Ring all in the same game. That is awesome. Scenic Poltergeist, so funny. The cool thing as well is because it says onto your next upkeep, target creature gets that ability. So if you put an instant energy on the Scenic, you can do multiple artifacts. Hmm, it's making a wasp token. Okay. I think I'm going to attack with the Colossus because, you know, when in Rome. Oh, he's going to take the damage. That is awesome. I'm not going to play the spider. Um, shoot, I kill the shade. I'm not going to kill. I'm just going to pass turn see what he does. I'm genuinely curious to see what he's going to do. I'm on eight. He's on six. 
I think he's got to do something. I can actually just kill him with the ring. I can just put four, put him on two, untap, deal damage again. Oh, wow. Okay, he's going to animate my ring. That, that worries me a little bit, but I'm going to deal four. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to untap my Colossus. Because I want to attack with my ring and my Colossus, just to see what he's going to do. I think if I attack with everything, that he cannot survive. I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to go Aladdin's ring. I'm just going to attack with Alpha Strike for the victory. Why not? Let's go. And then you got this little mouse running around. Hey, winning! Whoa, so many cards! Take the cards from the Netherfiend for sure. I get first move. Yeah, baby. Wait, why didn't I go to that village? Merfolk Shaman attacking Anders, Anders Hole? Oh, there, oh, I can, I can reach it, I can reach it. No, 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 I cannot take, cannot take any quests at the moment. Okay, Vanilla Hero. 30, sure, man. Sell the stuff, sell it, I don't mind. 65 for the beast? Okay, I'm not selling black cards here. That's ridiculous. 65 for a guardian? I wish, I wish you could get a guardian beast in real life for 65 gold. Get out of here. Get out of here, nuts goes. I really don't want to lose a lot of I'm gonna pay. Okay, I'm gonna duel you, witch. Oh no, it's a vampire lord. Start the duel, I know, start the duel. I've got forest, dirkwood boars, war mammoth, grapeshot catapult, lanor elves, hill giant. Um, forest into lanor? Next turn, I need more three drops in my deck. No, dude, weakness. That is badass, man. Now I'm again on like the slow plan. Uh-oh, double mana vault? This is scary stuff. Like next turn he could go for Sengir Vampire. That is, if he does that, I'm probably losing. No Sengir, no Sengir, no Sengir. Just pass a turn. Play a land, pass a turn, it's fine. Don't do it. Okay, vampire, vampire bets I can live with. Oh, oh, what? What? I have, I have to say I respect your move. You know, you are the Vampire Lord and you're casting Vampire Bats and two second vampires in one turn. I mean, you got to respect that, right? Am I happy about it? No. Do I respect it? Yes. Okay, let's play the Grape Shot Catapult. And I'm just going to try to catapult the bats. But first, take a lot of damage. I'm on four. Okay, I'm, I'm so dead. What am I losing again? There's the queen. Can you see what's on? Go to the cleanup step, show ID, show visibles, dual options, no. Because I know there's a way to see the ante. Oh yeah, few both antes, there we go. Fisher, oh, I don't want to lose to Fisher. Fisher is one of my best cards in the game, man. Ah, oh, dude. Dirkwood Boars? I'm in so much trouble. Okay, at least I'm going to use my Grape Shot Catapult just because I can. Very close to the, the 
Let's just put another card in. Let's put another card in. Sigh. Let's do this. This is a three drop, actually. So maybe it's good in my deck. Like ten. So much money. I'm not going to pay so much for food. For one green amulet, I refill the deck of any black. No, never mind. I want to keep those amulets. For a madman. Uh, okay. Here, 10 food for 20 gold. Okay, that's a little bit better. Let's leave the village and hey, attack this dude. Oh, I want to win the pirate ship. I love pirate ship. But I'm not going to play blue. But I love pirate ship. Okay, whatever, man. He will play first. Okay, I got a Lana Rells turn one. That's good. I've got Grape Shed Catapult, Dwarven Warriors, Lana Rells, Grenade. I actually have a really decent setup. I've got turn one Lana Rells, turn two Dwarven. Turn three, Grape Shot. I'm happy. I got to turn one play, turn two play, turn three play. I'm like, like a pro. Like, I'm like John Finkel. Feel good. Feel confident. Second Island. And I'm feeling good. Going on, going on. Do 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 playing chandelier. This is what I mean. Okay, so we're gonna play Montagna. We're gonna play Dwarven Warriors. So that's what we do. It's what we do, son. It's what we do. That boom. Look at this badass. <laughs> Winning games is 1994. Should say 1993, I guess, because this was in the Alpha expansion. Anyway, gonna attack for two next. No, I'm not gonna attack for two. Gonna attack for one max. Can put him on eleven, and I can drop the uh, grape shot catapult. If, of course, he doesn't, I'm gonna take the risk. Maybe we're gonna see a counter spell. It is what it is, my friends. No counter spell. Let's attack, warrior. Give for it. Warven warriors. Unsummon. Of course you do. Of course you do. You're your blue player. That's what you do. It's going to recast it next turn. Ooh, he's thinking because he knows he's under pressure. Under pressure. Do, 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 do. Lana Royale's Whip War of Warriors, baby. Ooh, this is, this is annoying because now I've got, oh, another mountain? He's not making an island. I thought he's going to make an island, play Lord of Atlantis, you know, island walk of that whole unblockable thing going, but... Um, okay. Let's go. I'm going to go forest, and I'm going to play Doku Bones. Let's attack for one. So he's on 10. I'm on 12. I'm feeling good. And I still don't have a crawl worm, by the way. I've earned gold. I've earned a mana link. So those goals are, are, are set, you know, or accomplished, I should say. Um, and now I got to get a crawl worm. Let's see. What can I do? I've got grape shot and carnivorous plant. I think I first should attack for six. You know, sometimes life is simple. Then I'm going to play my catapult. I'm going to pass. There we go. There we go. I haven't saved anything, by the way, again today, so I hope it's not going to crash. Okay, there's an unsummon. But I think the unsummon is not going to save him. Hey, look at that. Take the cards. Okay. A twiddle. A bottle of Suleiman. That is so cool. I so want to get the Mana Clash back because then I, I can make like a, a coin flipping deck. That would be so awesome. 
Uh, North to my brother in Nevermore Hole. You know what? I'm going to accept this quest, but I'm also going to stop for now. I'm going to save before I forget. Jimmy goes green. Um, I'd like to thank you for watching another episode. I'm going to stop now. It's been about like an hour, right? Give or take. So thank you for watching episode number two of season number two. And um, yeah, let me know in the comments below how you feel about my deck. What are kind of cards you would put in it next? I'd love to hear from you. And I hope to uh, see you again next week. Have fun with your Sunday. I, I know I will. I'm always good in the weekends. Weekends, weekends I shine. Absolutely. Anyway, let's just save it another time to be sure. There we go. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Zing!